Jah shall power. So if he said, behold, the day is come, this is a future prophecy of what's about to come, right? Save the Lord power, but I will send a famine in the land, right? Not a famine of bread, not a thirst for water, but a heaven of the words of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, right? So there's actually going to be a famine and shortage of this word where it's not easily accessible. That's why you wouldn't get it now. That's why if you're watching, it'd behoove you to write down your notes, take these scriptures in and get as much as you can for that day of Jacob's trouble. Right? This is going to be a time when you need this knowledge. Right? It's going to be a time where you're going to wish you what you take heed that you had faith that's why everything is what is building up to that time all the faith you had all the temptations you went through because that's what this truth is about every single day okay building a healthy fear of Yahweh Shai right having that hope right yeah, yeah, there is going to be a famine of this word, right? Not for a first water, but the heaven of the words of the Lord. That's why you want to give it your all. So there's going to be a famine. A famine is a shortage, right? That's why we give it our all now. Right? And they shall wander from sea to sea, from the north even to the east, right? So you're going to have people walking about, running about. They're going to be wondering. And that's, that represents a state of what? Confusion. Bear me just a minute. That represents a state of confusion, right? Running to and fro. Right? To seek the word of the Lord, you shall, shall not find it. So it says they were not going to find it. It was not going to be accessible. That's why you really want to get this now. That's why you don't want to be messing about. Because this is not a joke. Right? And everything the brothers have learned. That's what we're going to need to, to go on. The faith that we have. Right? The things that you've learned. Right? So now let's jump to... Proverbs 1. We're going to go to Proverbs 1. And this would, this would be the punishment, the judgment to those that didn't want to take this truth seriously. Go and read it out. This is Proverbs 1. And let's go straight to verse... Twenty. One and... Twenty. Wisdom breath about. Right? She asked with her voice in the street. So wisdom is known as Sophia. So where are you going to find wisdom? In the streets. Okay. Try it out. Because that's what the scripture says. What? Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. So right now, wisdom is crying out. And different brothers on the highways and byways, what? They're crying out. Wisdom is crying out. Right? So wisdom crieth out. She uttereth her voice in the chief place of concourse. And this is the chief place of concourse. This is where wisdom is uttering her voice. And whether you're going to receive it or not, really, that's down to your way I was showing. Right? 
she craved in the chief place of concourse, which the chief place of concourse is the cities, right? So that's where you would find the prophets. You wouldn't find them tucked away in the woods, right? You'd find them what on the streets. Prophesying, a lot of men even they got a problem with that. Why? Because they're not walking in the way of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right? She cries in the chief place of concourse, which is what the marketplace is, the place of trade. This is a, what a place of trade. People are trading. Across the road, people are what trading, there's businesses. Not in the forest. So whoever gave you said no you know what as soon as the lockdown come stay in the forest and remain there whoever told you that that was satan that told you that that wasn't yahweh shai because yahweh shai said be on the highways and two other ways right of the gates because this is where what the gates are the entry to the gates right and we've got the cities in the city she uttered her words say because you would also have what bear me just a minute you would also have the learnt, the learnt men I haven't been into the scripture for a long time I think it's in June 2012 you would also have what the leaders Okay, the priest would be what at the gate. Okay, I know it's somewhere in June 2012. Can't find it, but yeah, that's where the prophets would be. At the entry of what? The gates. Okay. And that's where you would what inquire of a prophet. Right? Bear me just a minute. Right? Let's continue. Verse 22. And she uttered her words saying, How long, okay, ye simple ones? Because our people, they are simple. I was simple. And sometimes in this truth, sometimes you can find yourself being a bit simple. Right? So it's saying, How long were you simple ones? So our nation, they're very simple. Right? We love simplicity. So our people, they love simplicity. They love being simple. They love the ways of this world. They love acting a fool, because Esau, you're not a threat. When you're acting like a fool, a coon, you're not a threat to Esau, right? But when you actually apply these scriptures, then that's when you become a threat, right? And how would and slack you and the scorn is like in the scorning. So you're gonna get two kinds: those that repent, hear this word, and those that scorn, like a woman. When you break up with a woman, okay, she might try to pop your tire or something, okay. And fools hate knowledge. So if you hate knowledge, ultimately you're a fool, because the wise man he's gonna what? Attain unto knowledge, give himself unto knowledge, right? That's what a wise man's going to do. Turn ye at my reproof. So, turning is repenting. Turning from what? Your wicked ways. That's what it means to be repentant. To turn, to have a change of mind. So if you haven't repented, that means your mind hasn't been what changed. And you haven't tried to be there. Okay? To repent me, to repent me, to turn. So when you hear what is truth, you're supposed to be cut. You're supposed to be caught when you turn back to your Shai, right? Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, right? I will make my words known unto you. So I'm making the words of Yahweh Shai known unto you right now, right? Because I have called and you refused. 
So, you know we're going to get a remnant that refused his word. But we have called, right? But our people refuse, okay? Because of the threats they may have, something they don't like in the scriptures, you know? I've stretched out my hand, so how is Yahweh is stretching out his hand? By his mouthpieces, right? By his prophets. That's how Yahweh is stretching out his hand. By his prophets. So you can't say Yahweh is merciful. But I've stretched out my head and no man regard it. Regard means to fall back, um, think upon, look back upon. So you have to regard these words. But the two thirds of the wicked of our people, they're not going to regard this. Because they're comfortable with lies. They're comfortable with being wicked. They don't want to change. Right? Verse 25. But you have set no to all my counsel. And a counsel, it comes in many various different ways. Especially by other brothers that may be showing you something. And a counsel could come just by a video you watch. Right? So you don't want to refuse the counsel of Yahweh I was sharing. Right? And with none of my reproof. So a lot of our people, they don't want the reproof. But you should want that. You should want to what? Receive it. Right? And there's a lot of people out there. They don't want reproof. Because of what? It hurts their ego. You've got to get used to being cursed up rebuked. That's why certain men, they hide behind a camera. That's a part of the truth. How are you able to repent if you ain't being told about yourself? That's a part of repentance. So you know, don't you want someone telling you where you're going wrong? Because if we don't tell you where you're going wrong, then guess what? The scripture says you are as a bastard. It's going to be left to your own devices to be destroyed, right? So you've got to love that. Okay, and some things, certain things are going to be brought out and even if you suffer wrongfully, that's still good because that's showing character, right? But a lot of men can't do that, right? Because they lack character, right? I will also laugh at your calamity. So the men of the Lord, we're going to be laughing at the calamity, okay? And it's going to be great calamity upon this earth on every corner, right? And then I will mock when your fair cometh. So when these people are in great fair, the men of the Lord are gonna mock, right? When people's first comes, when the martial law troops come in gun back you, when it's rioting, when it's dead bodies dropping, we're just going to laugh. Because we warned you. Right? We let you know. And the scripture says, um, woe to you that laugh now. It's like a woe to you that uh, laugh now because you shall cry or something like that. So the tables are going to turn. We're suffering now. Yeah, we're catching a lot of hell. But the tables are going to turn if you stay faithful, right? If you stay faithful, this is what this is about, staying faithful, right? And we're going to shut off soon because the battery's running out. But you have to stay faithful to your Abba Shai. Stay committed, right? And when your fear coming for the desolation, and of course you want that. You want to see your enemies in great fear in great desolation.
You'd be lying if you said you did, you did not want that, right? All those that come up against the truth, right? And your destruction comes as a whirlwind, and a whirlwind is all of a sudden, right? So that destruction is going to come all of a sudden as a whirlwind when you're not expecting it, okay? And when distress and anguish come up upon you, when shall they call upon me? That's when our people want to call upon the Heavenly Father. When things are going wrong. When they're catching hell. When someone dies, when something happens. That's the only time our people get serious. When something happens. But you're supposed to be serious now. You're not supposed to wait. Because our people, they don't have the fear of your heart by Shem Yahweh Not all of our people, some. The elect, they have that fear. That's why they're of the elect. Right? But I will not answer. So the scripture says, Yahweh is not going to answer. When you, when you call upon him, that's a judgment, what? For the wicked. Okay. That's why you want to be sincere. Okay. And they shall seek me early. Right? And right now, you want to be seeking Yahweh now. Right? They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. So they're not going to fight Yahweh Shai. We're going to be withdrawn. We're going to have to be fending for ourselves. Okay? That's why we're giving you these words now. For they hated knowledge. So I'm letting you know why these things are going to come.